Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki from Aki's Place. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've been, I just, I've been lazy and too, too busy as well. But today I wanted to make a closed, um, closed tellurium from this big um, glass jar. I think they're called Demi John um, glass jar. Uh, I don't want to put too much in there because um, I just want like one simple closed tellurium with like one plant and like moss so it's not gonna be like fussy looking just a simple one I just want to keep it um, so that I can see one plant growing because uh, I have uh, actually I had three closed tellurium but one actually died because I moved it somewhere in the dark and I totally forgot about it so it, it kind of died I had another one I rescued because it, it I will do an update on that one because they were they were closed but then the lid kind of um got damaged because it's it's made of wood or cork so it was actually not sealed so all the water started to evaporate and plants started dying because there was enough water in the in the tellurium to make that eco um cycle so um i i fixed that so maybe i'll do an update on the next video but today i wanted to make a yeah, starting from scratch, I want to make a, um, I've been wanting to find this um, demijohn for a long time. I see green one, you know, like the darker color one, but like I, I hardly see the clear one like this. And I found someone on the Facebook marketplace, they were, she was selling it for $25 a piece, which is, I think it's a great deal. Um, so I bought two. And I'm going to make one, this one, into the tellurium. And then other one, I'm, I'm starting to fill it up with the, um, the, what do you call it? The stone beach glasses that we collect um, from the beach near, near our uh, Toronto Lake. But um, yeah, let's start it. So I don't know if you guys seen other videos like YouTuber making seals seal tellurium or tellurium but like um i use like a ball to put it on the bottom and then i have activated charcoals these are activated charcoals you can find them at the pet store uh around the like a fish section and then i have the soil you want to use a clean soil because if, if it gets if you're gonna seal it it's gonna like the bacteria in a used soil might you know start to uh, spread and then you get a big mold in your um, tellurium but um, I got some soil I'm gonna mix it with perlite uh, you want to make an airy airy um, soil mix so I have orchid mix and then her life. So I'm going to mix that and then make a soil for this. Um, yeah, you just don't want like a thick, what do you call it? Thick soil that would like pack down. You just want like something that's air, aerated. Aerated because it's going to be closed and you want the water cycle to, yeah, like you want to, you want the eco cycle, uh, eco, eco cycle to form in the uh, tellurium. But let's start because this is the hole is so small I think I'm gonna have to use this I don't know how am I gonna yeah like yeah I, I just have to figure out as I do it and um I bought this fern this is the what do you call it spagna was it spagna asparagus fern I think so I bought it a couple weeks ago and left it in here and it was like, it was like around maybe here. And now it, it's grown to the point that it was actually growing onto the lid. So it's got a little tiny, like a hat going on. But um, I'm going to plant this in here. Ideally, I want to take all the soil off, but I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be hard because this fern has like very, it's not just one stem. There's like a lot of stems growing like in one. So, um, yeah, and then I have a moss that I um, picked up. It's a pretty round circle shape. It's really pretty. Uh, actually, my friend found it for me. And uh, I, that was like months ago, like, like over a month. And <laughs> I've been too lazy. But if you find um, moss like this, you can keep it in a Ziploc and then uh, miss some water. 
and keep it under the grow light and they they do just fine it, it's been like growing in here and it's it's kind of like starting to grow tall but i'm gonna put this just this too because i don't want to put anything else I'm, i was hoping maybe maybe i might add more moss maybe it'll just be a moss and um i forgot what do they call asparagus fern but yeah let's let's do that oh and gonna need something like mesh anything that you can have the water go through but this is gonna keep the soil from falling down into the liquor where the water is gonna stay and yeah anything this is i think i found a curtain shower from dollarama and just cut it to the size probably this should fit but um yeah it doesn't have to be um mesh it could be anything that you know, like you could, I think you could also make it from a, um, if it's not this big, you can make it from like a saturn wrap or plastic paper and just poke a hole and you can still make that. Okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, first we're going to fill this liquor ball on the bottom. Uh, I shouldn't drop it because I'm afraid that it's going to, it's going to break the glass. So I'm just going to tilt it. I know kids like to help, but it's so stressful when they do help. <laughs> so, okay. about maybe this much so that's where the water is gonna sit and then it's gonna evaporate um, you don't want soil to go underneath so uh, where did the mesh go so I'm gonna put this on top I don't know how I'm gonna spread it in there because you could have another yeah, stick another stick and use like it's chops oh, you can but... little too big. What do you think? I guess it's okay. You won't see it. The soil's gonna cover it anyway. Just careful, okay? It looks like a Christmas hat. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna have to... Um... And then I'm gonna pour this charcoal. Activated charcoal in here. So that the water that falls down to the liquor is filtered and clean.
soy mix and then pour them in here. Like the hardest is to pour stuff in here because this mouse is not that big. You don't really need to use orchid box, uh, barks, I think. Just adding perlite to the potting mix would do okay. But I'm gonna add some. And I still have extra, extra turkles. This is more fine, it's like sand, so I'm gonna add it. It, it it also filters the water, but it's it's gonna it's gonna be like it's gonna be like pro light as well. That's from something else. I don't remember what it was. That was from him doing something very well. I think it's from Kumon or something. <gasps> Are you gonna do Kumon, Wes? Yeah. Liam, can you... metal stick if you want to make a terrarium with a big jar because once it's in there I don't think you can get it out and luckily this this stick was a metal so I put a magnet on this little what do you call it ice pick or what it, skewer for barbecue and then it, it actually came out awesome okay now just wanna even out the sand. I don't know if I wanna. Do I wanna add a little bit more, or maybe I could add just a bit more? Hmm, what do you think? The fern to go in the middle, so I'm just gonna make a little hole. But I should probably find a place to put the moss in first without without this moss being flipped upside down. Um, how am I gonna do that? And how am I gonna? Okay, this moss looks really good. How am I gonna? <laughs> how am I gonna put this actually? I. I was thinking to roll it in, but I realized it's it's kind of too big. Um, 
I wonder if I should put it in a different one and just keep the fern only. What do you think? Also, normally you're supposed to like pull out all the garbage. That one? That one? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't want to destroy yeah, this fern. Yeah, you're going to kill it. Because this one. is such a nice yeah, shape one. So I'm not going to put it in here. I'm going to put it in a different tellarium. Because if you remake that one, you can put it here on display. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to put an asparagus fern in here because I, I really like the fern itself. I like would love to see it grow in here and okay so I'm gonna make a little hole in the middle and let's take this out and get the dirty stuff out. It's growing so much already. I don't know. I also need to figure out how to drop this without getting it upside down. I guess the soil's gonna be heavy, so I don't think it will flip, but I'm gonna take as much soil as possible. Get this the roots. Get loosen the roots and yeah, try to get the soil off. I don't, because it will likely I will get a I will likely get a mold. But um, if it does, you could just make a mixture, spray mixture with the um, hydrogen peroxide and water, and spray inside, and eventually the mold's gonna go away. So it, it, it should be okay. But um, okay, let's. Trying to make this hole a little bit bigger. I wonder if I just would it fall again, like straight. Will you follow this line and fall in? Oh my gosh, it was perfect. Okay, and then try to bury the soil. Try to push in. Normally, if this hole is big enough, I will spray it, like mist, the, mist it with the spray, water spray, but it's not big enough. I'm just gonna pour some water in here with this. It's like a water uh, watering thingy for succulents and cactus. I actually cleaned inside too. So they're good. So it's about a like full bottle. I don't know, like a 500 milliliter. 500 milliliter of water. I if I had hydrogen peroxide, I would have added like tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, but I don't. So but it's okay. You don't you don't have to. Water a little bit on the fern itself. So you can Google what kind of plant would be perfect for closed, like sealed, sealed tellurium, but mostly ferns and uh, phytonias do well, and pepperonis, pep, 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 pepperomia, pepperomias do well, I think. Um. What else do I have it in the... Yeah, like... 
Sorry. Likely, yeah, Fern will do best. Oh, my son came in. I hug. I gotta wipe his bum. Okay, so. The most important part is sealing the part because you're gonna eventually you're gonna have to seal it but you need to know when you need to um for a couple weeks or not a couple weeks maybe couple maybe one week you need to monitor your tellarium because you can seal it and see if it's if it's just the right amount of water that's in here but if it's too much water in the tellurium, you can see the, the condensations on the glass. If it stays on whole day, that means that's too much water. So you need to open, you can keep the lid, op lid open for like half a day or so. Like, or you can wipe the, if you, if, if you can stick your hand in there, you can wipe, wipe it off. But you need to make sure that condensation doesn't stay on the glass all day long otherwise that means there's too much water and I don't want it to be not enough water since this is big so I'm just gonna go get another, another. okay so I'm gonna add one more just in case because it is it is a lot of sand and this is big as well so if it does evaporate, it's okay because I'm not going to steal it. I will steal it, but like I'm going to have to watch it for a few days to see. I'm pretty sure I have too much water in here, so. Get some Okay, so this is good, I think. Um, I wouldn't recommend cork because they will eventually break. I mean, deform and like you could get air out. So I found this. It's a silicon cap for, I think this is meant for like a canned drink. But I found this silicon cap. <sighs> silicon cap. So you can use something that doesn't get the air out for sure. Um, yeah, in my opinion, cork does not work because I have, I had this one, I think that's a cork, and it kind of, it deformed in the end and it wasn't closed properly. But here you go. So I'm going to keep this like this and monitor this for a few days. If the condensation on the glass stays on all day long, I'm going to open it for like half a day and like let the water evaporate excess water evaporate and once you see that condensations on the glass forms only in the morning and like in the in the late afternoon I guess like when the sun set and then that's that's okay that's the time you can actually seal it um, completely uh, permanently I guess um, but yeah this is this is I like it it's cute it's tiny oh now the bear uh, because I water it from the top, the root is exposed. Okay. And you want to put this somewhere in the direct, not direct, where the direct light is. It's too hot. That's going to get too hot inside. So put it somewhere in, um, in direct bright space. I'm gonna think I it might get a little bit of morning sun, but I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put it permanently. But right now, it's gonna it might have a little bit of morning sun. Morning sun's gentle, so I think it's okay. Um, all right. Just wanna make sure the roots don't get exposed. Okay. All good. Let's take a 
political. <laughs> Alright, um, so it's seal for now. I'm gonna, yeah. I will make an update on this for sure, but this is it, and this is my big Demi John closed tellurium. I hope this farm's gonna grow big and happy in here. That's a little dirty. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah, you could tell the watermarks on the side, but it's okay. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I will make an update video on this and the other tellurium as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!